Here's what Google.php looks like. This is a little advanced PHP, but you don't really have to know how it works just to use it. it. What it does is it goes and works with the complete URL. This is the complete URL that you need to work with Google Suggest. You set the QU parameter to the partial search term that the user has entered. So in order to work with Google Suggest, you have to handle it in PHP as a file over the internet, and you say F open. That opens up a file over the internet, and this is the URL of the file. This is the complete URL for working with Google Suggest. And then you have to also extract the partial search term that the user has already entered. And so what we're going to be doing here is sending the partial search term to Google Suggest. As you recall, this dollar sign underscore get array will allow you to get the value of the parameter QU, which has been sent to this Google.php file. So this expression gets the partial search term that the user has entered. It's appended to this dot is the PHP text appending operator. Now to keep in mind, you don't have to know all this, all this detail, all these PHP details, because this is, after all, the AJAX part is the most important here. This is just an example, but you can always borrow this code to make it work. And what happens is you use this URL and you append the search term, partial search term that the user is working with. The R here means you're opening this as a file, as read only. You read the data from the file using the, the end of file PHP method. So, while this says while not you've reached the end of the file while you have not reached the end of the file keep reading from the the file which is this of course which is actually this URL with the f gets that says you get a string from that file so you're repeatedly getting text from that file which is simply the URL that Google suggests and you fill the dollar text variable with it and then you pass that back to our google.html example and that assembles the response in the response text property which is then passed to the eval method as JavaScript and then in the end you close the handle, you close the file disconnecting you from the Google Suggest website. So again very briefly you open this URL after appending to it the search parcel search term the user is looking for, and you read the text sent back from line by line, you read the text sent back from Google Suggest, and you close the file connection. Okay, And you also have to echo each line of text back to Google, HT Google HTML, and Google HTML will read that data in the response text property and evaluate it because that is sent back as a JavaScript call to the send RPC done function. So it's a little involved, a little complex, but you can always take a look at the code, the downloadable code for the for the course, and all that's left now is to actually handle the send RPC done function, which we're going to take a look at next.